Well, the news is ablaze about Bob Diamond volunteering to appear before the Treasury Select Committee this coming Wednesday, the 4th of July. However, if you read the article in the Financial Times, he's already lining up his excuses, saying in a letter to the committee chairman, Andrew Tyree, that due to ongoing civil and criminal investigations, there will be questions which he will not be able to answer in detail. So, already you know that whenever he's asked a question he doesn't want to answer, he will simply say that he can't due to ongoing civil and criminal investigations. It's going to be hilarious. There will be no answers of substance given. We will know nothing new. And Bob knows this. This is why he's offered himself up before being dragged up in front of the Treasury Select Committee. And when Banks to Bob leaves, he will be even more arrogant and look even more smug than usual, if that's possible. Why? Because he's given up his bonus, which he doesn't deserve because Barclays' performance was appalling. He's also offered himself up to the Treasury Select Committee before being asked. This shallow offering will be enough for most people to think that it's our good old Bob. He's a decent chap. Someone we can really rely on and not a scumbag bankster ripping us all off at all. This minuscule offering will be enough for most suck-up MPs to go off on their summer break and not to think twice about the banking industry and what's actually going on. I said in a previous video that Cameron will not complete an overhaul of the banking system or an in-depth investigation because it's people like Banks the head Bob Diamond that own the likes of David Cameron. The only way we're going to be able to change anything is that we start realising that we hold the power. We could bring Barclays down in about a month if we wanted to. All we have to do is start withdrawing your money now. What are the MPs going to do when RBS are officially dragged into this scandal? Then Lloyds, then HSBC. Where's it going to stop? It will stop when we take action. It's up to us.